Welcome to Nevertheless Podcast with Bidemi Makmodi, a show dedicated to organic leaders and leaderpreneurs. Today, you would learn how to discover your essence and live more powerfully. The month of February has been an amazing month, especially with the kind of conversations that we have had on the Nevertheless show. We've had conversation on the I Love You Bot series and it has been enlightening. It has been a conversation that although is rare, is much needed in our time and especially for our individual journeys as organic leaders and leaderpreneurs. My name is Adishawa Gregi Budaro and this is the Nevertheless show with Bidemi McMoney. Hello everyone. Hey, Adishawa, <laughs> thank you for slogging it out in the studio with me today. Thank you so much for um, all that you, all the value that you bring to this. Um, thank you um, for joining us on the Nevertheless show, a show for organic leaders and leaderpreneurs. Today we are continuing the I Love You Bot series. And Adishawa, what's um, today's topic? I love you, but I will not die for you. Yes. I love you, but I will not die for you. I want us to be attentive to the fact that not to, that not dying for you is a choice I have made. It mm. is not a. It is not that I cannot die for you. It is that I have made up my mind that I will not die for you. Mm. Now the question will be: Okay, so what's this about? Because it doesn't sound like any of the others. Um, what is this about? Well, this is about the fact that love covers, love builds, love, gr- love grows, love never kills. Mm. So if you find yourself in a so-called love situation mm. that is put your life at risk mm-hmm. or puts all that you are at risk, then it is time to step back and say, this is not love. Mm. We need to have those conversations, in, especially in in, in, the, in in seasons such as the ones that we're in, where we're hearing a lot about domestic violence mm-hmm. and people taking other people's lives, mm-hmm. all in the name of love. Oh, yeah. We've had situations where someone says, oh, she broke up with me. If I can't have you, no one will have you. Or he would, or, or he would, um, she would say, he broke up with me and if I can't have him nobody else will have him mm. anything that would make you lose yourself to the point of want to take someone's life mm. it's can't be love. or put your own life at risk has stepped far away from what the idea of love mm. what is the concept of love by our definition love is contending earnestly you know, for, for the, the highest, highest good to be made manifest in the present moment mm-hmm. so if love is a contention for the highest possible good how is my dying for you the highest possible good mm. and someone will be like but jesus that that's the point exactly <laughs> we don't want to reenact that mm. there is no need to mm. reenact that mm. when god puts us in love situations in this season or in our going forward since after Jesus died, mm-hmm. what God has done is called us into something that would enhance us, build us, give, make us bigger than we are mm-hmm. on our own. Mm-hmm. That's why the Bible says that two shall come together and chase 10,000. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So love is supposed to add value and not supposed to take away from value. Mm-hmm. The moment you begin to sense that it is toxic, it's putting you in danger. It's you are cl- it's cleaning out your account every cycle. Right. You need to step back and say this does not look like love. love because if it is love, it will care about you enough to ensure that what you have is preserved, mm. or uh, even if it is not enhanced, let it be preserved. Wow. That's what this conversation is it's about. about. Yes. Amazing. Okay, so in the previous episode last week, we said. We said that I love you, but I'm not your solution. Mm-hmm. Meaning that I have to bring something to the table yes, with to ensure. Contribute. That, yes, and yes. so that says to me that love is collaborating. Yes, meaning if you're not collaborating mm-hmm. within the relationship, mm-hmm. I will get to a point. If I'm the one who is giving now, I will get to a point where I'm like, this is enough. Yes. And or you, you get should to get to a point. All right. Because the the, the reality is not everyone allows themselves to get to that point wow so you should get to the point Mm -hmm. where you recognize that if i'm in what is supposed to be a love relationship and it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be um 
a a, a, a when I say love relation, it doesn't have to romantic. be a rom romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. Even when it's sibling, even when it's filial relationships, mm -hmm. we need to know that everyone ought to look out for the other person. Mm -hmm. So um, recently, or maybe not so recently, I saw something trend on social media and social media and periodically it does trend this thing about um, you are not your parents' um, retirement plan. Wow. You know, so someone says a father or a mother who's trained them, who's looked after them, who's helped them through their years to achieve whatever level of success they arrive at, mm -hmm. that they are their parents, when their parents become older, that they are not um, their parents, their parents, their parents are not, they are not their parents' retirement plan, mm -hmm. meaning that they would only contribute to their parents if it. If, if, they, if it's convenient and if it's not convenient, no parents should expect that their child would take care of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not certain. I have three children, all or um, 20 and above. I cannot, I'm not hoping and praying that I would arrive at a place in my life where they will have to have to pick up every of my bill and take care of me. Mm -hmm. However, I do know that sometimes, even in the best of intentions, things don't pan out. Yes. Will you be there for the other person? Mm. Love builds. Mm. And the moment is not building, mm. then it becomes toxic mm -hmm. and it becomes dangerous. Mm. So we need to take a look at this again. In cases of domestic violence, if you are the woman and you keep giving and you keep having to prove and bending over and over and over to just to let someone know that you are worthy of their love, the reality is they are not worthy of your love. Mm -hmm. So don't die because you want to prove to someone that you love them. Again, let me remind you, Jesus has done that already. Yes. He's the only one that has the, has the capacity and he's done it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to reenact that. Mm. We don't want to reenact that. So when you find yourself in a relationship and it brings you to the place where you are exposed to danger, every single interaction you are exposed to danger, something is wrong wow. if you are in love with someone and every time you go out he or she is high on something there's a car crash you need to remove yourself from that situation mm. and yes all my very churchy and christian <laughs> brothers and sisters pray for them from a distance right. do you understand mm -hmm. it god did not set up love to do us in mm. God set up love it's a replication of what exists in the kingdom mm -hmm. and we're supposed to look at love mm. on no matter the filter through which we look at love it is supposed to be beautiful mm. so the moment it is it turns ugly or the moment you have to prove to someone you've made up your vows you've made your vows that you're going to wait until marriage mm -hmm. and someone insists that how to prove to them that you love them is to break the vow you make to God Almighty oh, no. that person has put your life in danger yes and you don't even need um, a, a, a prophet to say to you that that is not that is not law mm -hmm. the reason why this is important is we think that lost is the same as love, love. but lost is not the same as love mm -hmm. and we think that likes are the same thing as love. Mm -hmm. How many people liked your post yesterday on social media? <laughs> How many of them will loan you money today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just because they liked, even if their reaction was a, a brand new reaction that uh, the platform had to create for mm -hmm. them, push when love becomes where love is tested yeah. is where you know it's when it comes to the place of sacrifice. Yeah. So and that sacrifice does not include your life. Mm. Do you see it? Yeah. So when you you, 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 you you find yourself in a relationship and you are the one that is consistently proving how much you love the person, mm -hmm. something is wrong. Wow. Wow. Something is wrong. So so on both ends, whether you're the, uh, what I'd say is a, a vertical relationship, mm -hmm. both of them can be saying, I love you. But I will, I will not, not die, die for you. you. Yes. Amazing. And then you said something. You said you should actually make a decision. You should because you will get to that point. Yes. Because you said some people don't even you know want to get to that, that point, point or something. Yes. Does that mean that before I enter a relationship, a contractual relationship, whatever it is, I should have my deal breakers? 
How can you do anything <laughs> with another human being mm. and have no deep workers? I saw something a while ago and I did a screenshot of it. I, I'm not sure I can quickly find it. But he said, that, um, I think it was Paul Scallon, and what he said was that um, if, you, if you are around someone and there is nothing that will make you walk away from them, there is a problem. Wow. I'm paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. He says, if you love someone so much that you or you are so loyal or faithful to someone mm -hmm. that there are no deal breakers, you are there's, there's a problem. A problem. Mm. There has to be something, even if it's this one thing, that if this person does, I will step back. Mm. I know that sounds like this person is not a Christian. Mm. Did she not just say that love covers a multitude of sins? Mm. Sins, did he say mother? <laughs> You say mother is part of sin, mm -hmm. but that's the point. When you are dead, you are dead. Mm -hmm. And I do think that, honestly, that some of us die carelessly. Wow. Wow. We actually put ourselves... Yes, we put ourselves out in, in situations where this shouldn't be what we what we what we um, we go through yeah. but because we're trying to prove a point to someone or to ourselves mm -hmm. we find ourselves locked in in things that we shouldn't even be around wow. so of this series this is the warning series the warning yeah. episode yeah as much as we want us to love each other know when to draw the line mm -hmm. and please do not begin to think about how to draw the line after the fact mm. know your deal breakers before you get there yeah. so that when they begin to play up you can have conversations mm. but after a while just say ah uh, no mm. we can't do this uh, mm. no 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 not at all mm. wow all right so peter asked jesus a question when we come back from this break i'm going to be asking bmm a particular question i'm gonna i'm not gonna say it now and she's going to help us to answer that question to see how we can function maximally in relationships even when we don't want to die in those relationships <laughs> we'll be right back this is the nevertheless show my name is alicia greg Dara, and with me in the studio is bdb mahmoudi we'll see you in a bit in a world filled with many fears and discouragement life often becomes a burden for those who know the way life is just simple do not worry, you're not alone on this life's journey, as Bidemi McMordy shares powerful insights and principles from her everyday work and life experiences in her book, Nevertheless. Nevertheless is a book designed to encourage and equip you to face life with courage, hope, and determination. Get a copy of Nevertheless and other books written by Bidemi McMordy, like The Wisdom of the Seed, Honor, The Theology of Work, and so much more from a bookstore nearby, or call 080-905-63555 or send an email to bidemi at bidemimacmordy.com to place your order. I guarantee you, you will make it. Nevertheless. Okay, so we are back on the Nevertheless show. We're having a very exciting conversation. You know, uh, Apostle B will say, I'm always the one saying it's exciting and good. Well, we're having this conversation and like she said earlier on before we went on the break, this is the warning episode. Yes. This is the episode that preserves your, that should preserve, preserve your, your life. life. Yes. Right? And I said before we went on that break that I wanted to ask her a question. Peter asked Jesus, how many times should I forgive my brother or my sister who sins against me? The question is, where is the place of forgiveness? Mm -hmm. Why should I be absolute and say, oh, this is my, this is my deal breaker, mm -hmm. you know, and if the person does it, I'm out. Yes. So where is the place of forgiveness and how much should I take on? Uh, I think that um, if we put it in context that we're talking about risk to life, hmm. it means that I don't know how it, your life would be at risk and you are asking me how much you should take. Hmm. If your life is already at risk, then you shouldn't take it. Hmm. Do you understand yes. that? But, you know, we need to understand that staying in the environment where we are put at risk, our lives are put at risk, and forgiveness are not the same, same. thing. Okay. You can forgive someone and still walk away. 
Right. You can forgive someone and decide that, okay, I need to see XYZ kind level of change mm -hmm. before I come back to proximity with you. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So this is not that we shouldn't be Christians and forgive people when they hurt us mm -hmm. or they do things that they shouldn't have done to mm -hmm. us. By all means, forgive them. But you see, if someone, you, if let's chalk it to anger. Okay. Anger is the reason why he beats on her, mm -hmm. or anger is the reason why she beats him up. Mm -hmm. Then forgiveness says, okay, I'm not going to walk away from this marriage if it was a marriage situation, for mm -hmm. instance. But what it is that I'm going to do is you must take anger management classes. Mm -hmm. And then we need to be a, a couple who are um, accountable to another couple. Mm -hmm. What that means is that there must be someone who can call us to order regardless of where we are and whatever it is that we have achieved. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is a conversation you've had with yourself and say, the day he would hit me, that day I would draw this line. Mm -hmm. If that does get to happen, mm -hmm. then you already have a, in your mind, you have thought through the process to be able to determine whether this is a situation where you walk away or is a situation where you'd come back into the relationship. Do you see that? Yes, sir. So, in that case, therefore, if you, you, you have put all these things in place, oh, you have to get help, you have to do this, and then this person says no. Mm. Mm. But they say, oh, but I love you. I promise you I won't do it again. Mm -hmm. And then, hopefully they don't do it again, but they do it again another time. Mm. Are you honestly going to pick up your phone and ask me how much more you can take? Mm. Fine. It's not intolerance. It's preserving your life. We need to understand that our lives are given to us to steward. Hmm. Okay. And so when you open yourself up to what can kill you, and you know that it is, it has the capacity to kill you, but you remain in that situation, mm -hmm. it is, um, it is a tantamount to not stewarding your life right. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so for instance, in, in Nigeria, the highway code is that when there is a pedestrian b a, a bridge, if you, you are not supposed to cross the road yeah. underneath a pedestrian bridge. Yes. And what that means is that if someone decided to flaunt the road to go over the bridge and starts to cross the road and they get hit or knocked down by a vehicle, the driver is not liable. Right. Do you see that? Yeah. So do we wait until we realize that the car can hit you? Mm. Before you make up your mind to say, I will obey traffic rules. Mm. It says here, the highway code says, I cannot mm -hmm. cross the road under this bridge. Mm -hmm. Do you understand yes, that? Yes. I remember that thing vividly in a flash because I remember many years ago, I was working in the Apapa area of Lagos. I was living in Festac and we're going to walk. There's one fly, uh, one pedestal bridge on that stretch, only one in that time. And I experienced someone knocked over and killed on the spot right under the pedestrian bridge and I, I, I for days I was angry hmm. because I was saying to myself if I were God I wake you up and cane you thoroughly before hmm. I send you to hell hmm. because it didn't make sense to have died that's needless hmm. someone would be like oh but death is death you know he was going to happen, happen anyway. anyway my hmm. thinking always is does it have to happen on your watch? Hmm. Hmm. If it was going to happen anyway, did they, did they have to say that you have to be the one who was wrong in the mm -hmm. wrong for it to happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you see it now? Yes. So this is not about, oh, don't forgive people. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to walk away from this show thinking, oh, she was trying to instigate people not to persevere. Right. And that's not the conversation at all. Mm -hmm. By all means, persevere or you want to persevere. But we've seen situations where the responsible parent is the one that gets killed. Yeah. And then the children end up suffering for many years mm -hmm. because the responsible parent did not do the responsible thing, thing to yeah. move out of harm's way. Yeah. And in that equation, it didn't matter that you were, you claimed that you were there for the children. It didn't matter that you claimed that you were there because you had to... No matter what your excuse is, the moment you open yourself up to the point where your life is taken out, you actually are the irresponsible one in wow. that equation. Wow. 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 
Because we are supposed to, we are meant to stand before God to give account of what we did with our lives. So just picture it. I know this is not a perfect heaven heaven situation. I haven't been there before, so I can't tell you what the what court sessions look like there. But picture that when you get there, they will ask you what killed you. Hmm. And you'll be like, oh, um, um, love killed me. Hmm. And they'll be like, love killed you. Say yes. So you wanted to be like Jesus. Said no. Who are you trying to save? He said nobody. I but I just loved. Hmm. And they say the life we gave you to do X Y Z is the life you you are allowed to be snuffed out because you claim that you were in love. Mm -hmm. Wow! 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 Why am I even having this? <laughs> <laughs> wow! This is this is you saying. Death is not how you respond no. to love. No. You don't respond. You don't express love by yeah. dying. You don't express love by dying. It is counterproductive yeah. to die on the one that you said you loved. It's counterproductive. So if it is within your choice to make, if it is within your choice to me. I know that this some situations are not perfect. Mm -hmm. So people don't get to get the opportunity to make that choice. Mm -hmm. But at least let it be that you didn't have the opportunity mm -hmm. or the capacity to make the choice. Mm -hmm. If it is within your power to right, do, right. do what is right. right. And what is right when your life is in danger in the name of love is to remove yourself mm -hmm. from it. From that, from from that relationship. Yes. Wow. You know, you know, as you're sharing it, when when I'm reading or when I'm saying that I love you, but I will not die for you. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is I love you, but I love myself as much. Yes. To preserve my yes. life. Yes. yes. So you cannot love. I mean, and there are people today who cannot even die for themselves because they're like, uh -uh, I have <laughs> this one well. life. No, you know, like we say, you only live once. <laughs> Yolo. Yolo. <laughs> and so if you are that person who does you only live once, then why should you mm -hmm. want to die for another? another person? Let's even go to the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Yeah. It says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but I have not love, I have become, become sounding brass or a clanging simba. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains but not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long. Love is kind and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Mm. Is not provoked. Mm. Does no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And then he says, love never, never fails. fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, mm. they will cease. Mm. Whether there is knowledge, mm. it will vanish away. Mm. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away with. While I was a child, I spoke as a child, and I understood as a child. I taught as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. For now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I am also known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest. Is love. Where here does it say love allows itself to be killed? Hmm. I know someone will say it says love and bears all things. things, it endures all things, not to the point of death. Yeah, yeah. That's why Jesus, you must have those Jesus was asked, he said, hmm. What is the greatest commandment? Hmm. And he said, All the commandments are summed up uh, summed up in this two. Love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your might, and with all your strength, mm -hmm. and love your neighbor as yourself. You cannot love someone else and mm -hmm. hate you. Yeah. Yeah. And no, this is not self-love. Or this is not <laughs> thing you say. That's, this, is, this is biblical standard yeah. of love. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do, do, do you see? Absolutely. So it's not it's not like someone um, is saying that you can't be a nice person. Mm -hmm. It's not that someone is saying you can't endure things with people. Mm -hmm. It's not that someone is saying, um, but we're saying that mm -hmm. your very life mm -hmm. you've been given to be accountable for. Mm -hmm. And if you know you are in danger mm -hmm. and you refuse to remove yourself from danger because you claim to love, you have not valued the gift of life that God has given wow. you. You are no different from the man who took himself and stood and threw himself in front of a moving train. Hmm. Hmm. As a matter of hmm. fact, that man is better because he may have mental health issues. Hmm. But you, what's your excuse? Wow. Wow. You know, as, as you say this, I remember episode two. Yes. Where we talked about submitting to discipline. Yes. And as you just said this, I'm like, you don't submit yourself to destruction. No. No. How would you do that? You shouldn't. Even if you wanted to. Can't work. Just submit yourself to destruction. Wow. Wow. And so really, this conversation is about, do you even love yourself? Let's redefine again what love is. Love is contending earnestly for the highest possible good to be made manifest mm. in the present moment. Mm. What is good is there when you die mm. Mm. in that moment. <laughs> oh, you know, I just remember something. You can't love somebody more than God loves them. Because sometimes, and you know, as you're saying this, I, I think that we should focus a little bit on those who give, the mentors, yes. you know, the leaders, because we put ourselves in the position of, I want to, you yes. know, let me just pour let myself me, I out. Know, I suffer, I want that's to die why empty. I know. This is a conversation mm. I have with myself. I mm. said to myself, I know you suffer the mosaic syndrome. Mm. You want to save everybody. Mm. And that's a really lofty thing to want to do. Mm. But at what expense hmm. at what cost because if i allowed myself to be snuffed off right now because i'm trying to just keep pouring and pouring and this is not only in abuse cases mm -hmm. you know in the capacity to say no yes in the capacity to say no yes i had to train myself it was major training i did a whole blog and then a podcast when i was training myself to say no hmm. And when I started to say no, everything I said no to, because I was teaching myself that no is not a bad word. Hmm. Do you understand? Yes. So even when you are the one that is pouring out, sometimes you need to step back and recognize that. You know, I, I, I jokingly tell people, who say, oh, my mentor for life, I'm like, you lied. <laughs> if something happened to me today, it only take one year mm -hmm. and you move on to that's yeah. as if you don't need help before that one year is over uh, yeah right so jesus again said that you should love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind with all your strength mm -hmm. and love your neighbor as yourself mm -hmm. so loving god cannot be that hard in the equation mm -hmm. loving your neighbor is not hard but will you love, love you? yourself yeah Ouch. Do you love you enough to preserve you? Yes. Do you love you enough to steward you? It's, the part, life? Yeah. it's part of the reason why we should exercise. And of course, <laughs> you know I'm talking to me, right? Um, it's part of the reason why we should watch what we eat. Mm. It's part of the reason why we should watch the hours of the, you know of the day we are out on the streets. Yeah. All of these things are just. It, 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 we act without realizing that we send off the message that we are not important mm. and then we wonder mm. why people are not treating us with value mm. 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 prioritize your yes. destiny prioritize your life wow you know when when, when, when we're saying I, I will not die for you mm. i'm picturing and I, I want you to please correct me i'm picturing nothing will die mm because i love you so i can't lose my family because i love you i can't lose my job because i love or this business cannot go down yes because you are not you know stepping up to the yes. plate to do what you're meant to do yes, and so i love you uh -huh. so whatever i need to do to ensure that 
we sustain what God has given us, we will do it. Yes. So it's not just about the physical life yes. now. We're talking about everything. Yes. And as you were talking, you know, I, something popped up in my head. You know, where someone maybe a spouse has a kidney or, or um, a fit, or no, maybe um, a um, vital organ disease, mm -hmm. and the other spouse says, "Okay, let me step up and be a donor." Mm -hmm. Someone will say, isn't that putting yourself at risk? Mm -hmm. Yes, but that is calculatedly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand mm -hmm. it? Have spouses died or those loved ones died in the process? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. But what I know is when you speak to the ones who lived, the ones who the person giving them, uh, you know, do, the donor dies mm -hmm. in the process of giving them. When you speak to them, they never forgive themselves for you Taking, know, yes, yeah. so because it looks like they, they need to took a life. life. Yeah. Do you understand mm -hmm. it? But these are things we do, and that's okay. Please do, because it's a show of love. Mm -hmm. But you see, from where I come, when you walk with God, that's the point of hearing God and knowing what He's released you to do yeah. or not do. Yeah. And we need to always look at things like that. You see, we started by saying that love is not emotions. Mm. We always think that love is this emotional thing. But love is not, I uh, know now, <laughs> love is not emotional like that. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why as believers, because we just think it's just a bundle of emotions, we cannot, we are not objective enough when we're having love conversations. We are not empirical enough when we're having love conversations. But these are things we need to think about. Mm. Count the cost. Mm. Jesus said if you want to build wow. a tower, count the cost. Mm -hmm. So count the cost. This thing that I'm doing, in the end, who suffers? Mm. 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 You know, and, and if it ends in this, you know, just have these conversations with yourself, please. Mm. So it's not like we did not say anything about relationship love no. as a romantic relationship. No, we tried I need to say that. <laughs> I need to say that this thing that BMM just shared about asking the love questions. Yes. Please, all those questions they usually say to ask: mm. What's your genital? Mm. What's your this? Oh, yeah. What the, the, the bloodline? Exactly. All those things. Please have those conversations please, please. because if we, uh, when we get into that relationship, we don't want to start running helter skelter for something when, that could have been avoided. Yes, that could have been avoided. Mm. And people like, oh, he's the only one for me. She's the only one for me. Jump where you're lying. <laughs> There's nothing mm. like this one person is the person for you. Mm. There is a type of person for you. Mm -hmm. And if you thought you found the type of person and the genotypes don't match, especially for us Africans, yeah. then step back. Yeah. Stabby, will you step back? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This real conversations with ourselves and with the ones we're in the relationship with is how we are actually truly present. Yes. Because again, you cannot love or be loved when you're dead. dead. No. The highest that will happen is somebody will cry, somebody they will mourn you, everybody will every find anniversary, grief. Every anniversary will do a, love, a long post with their DP, with their new wife or new husband. <laughs> Very bad to say that. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much everyone for following us through the February series. Yes. I love you both series. Please do share this series with your friends. Trust me, there are people in your life who truly need this. You see that friend who you're always telling the truth but doesn't listen to you because familiarity. You know, just take the link and share it with them. <laughs> share it with them and let them see that you love them enough to share this information with them. You love them enough not to care how they will feel after they listen to this. Thank you so much for joining us on the Nevertheless Show this month of February. We hope that this has blessed you. If it has blessed you, we would love to hear from you. So please do write to us. Follow BW McMurdy on Instagram and Facebook. And please share in the comment section. We're going to be looking at it. Also, if you have questions, please make sure to drop your questions. We'll be looking at it. And by the grace of God, we'll be responding to these questions in another episode. I mean, if you're following on Instagram and Facebook, you will definitely get to see the points where we answer the questions. Thank you so much. Remember that um, your life is um, a gift that you will be accountable for. And because of that, you want to be careful how you spend your life. Do not waste it. Make sure that you spend it. Um, from all of us, and nevertheless, remember that when you discover 
who you are in God, you become a powerful person. So I'm inviting you to embrace your superpower so that you can become all that God has called you to. Till next week, God bless you. Thank you for listening to Nevertheless. For more information and resources, call 08090563555. Don't forget, discovering your purpose helps you live more powerfully.